Okie dokie, this is one of those random videos that you get on my channel. Um, yeah, what have I been up to? I've decorated the whole kitchen, but I still haven't, I haven't painted the ceiling and it really needs doing. Um, and one of the jobs is to replace all these old halogen lights. They are so inefficient and the amount of heat that these guys generate is unbelievable. I'm just having a look up there. Yeah, it looks like, uh, I think it's just the, yeah, the earth. The earth has got one of them kind of terminal clips on it. I don't know what you call them. So um, I'll have to cut and strip the earth back on each single one. That'll be a pleasant job. Yeah, they really are hot. When I was up there painting behind behind the units uh, the other day, it was kind of like that. It was so hot. It was that kind of, uh, you know, the last Savaloy in the chip shop feeling. Felt a bit like that. Um, but yeah, that bloody smoke alarm's terrible as well. That's going, that needs replacing. So that's what we're going to do, uh, but first of all I thought just remove every single light I will show you the progress of it and uh, just pop the wires up for a second, obviously turn off the electricity um, Can I just roll a roll the ceiling, paint the ceiling, get a couple of coats up there and then we're going to install our new ones We're going to install our modern ones replacements if you like nice efficient leds uh i'm happy to say i mean i don't i'm not an electrician let's face it but they've got these like modern kind of self crimping things so there's no arsing around with um terminal blocks oh i hate terminal blocks i really do so that looks uh that looks straightforward you just wire, wire that up and um, just plug it into the light. Now, for some reason, the instructions insist you've got to be a qualified electrician to do this. I don't know why. I really don't. It's only three cables. There it goes. Rather nice. Like a brushed, uh, brushed stainless steel one. That's your plug. Uh, apparently you have to replace the whole unit. You don't replace the bulb once these uh, once these give up the ghost. So um, fingers crossed it should go okay. I've got quite a lot to do because I've got these and the bathrooms to do, but it keeps me busy. Um, let's see how we get on. Right. So as you can see, all the lights have been removed. And I've given it two coats, two coats, two coats of white emulsion, so it should be okay. But I'm going to leave a little bit spare because it's a nightmare doing white on white. I've only got this light at the moment to go by. <laughs> but those down lights were a nightmare because this one, as you can see, I nearly, really damaged the, uh, nearly ended up damaging the plaster. But um, yeah, I had to try and get, move it so that I could, uh, the actual spring on that side would not close. So something was preventing it, it got caught on something. So luckily I managed to just get some cutters in there and I cut this spring off, so I freed it off. Yeah, so next job is to put all the lights in. I have done... can't see it I have done one of them uh, I have done one of those uh, adapters so that one's ready to go I must say those uh, those spring loaded adapters are amazing they really are right then they all seem to be working I'll show you I'm just gonna pop those ones up I tell you them uh, I mean, I don't know what they're called, them like 
things that you know you just crimp you just push and, and they crimp onto the wires I don't know what they're called but god why what an amazing thing what an amazing development <laughs> first time I've really used them there you go oh, I think that's a pretty good job really pretty good job what problems did I have uh, I still haven't done the fire alarm which I will do the old the old like barrel type lights, the halogen ones, the I had to strip the the wire entirely further back because um they just weren't gonna go into the terminals. The terminals uh were like quite far away from each other. So I had to have a little bit more wire to play with. And uh that was really it. It's this one here. Getting that one out really did give me a bad fight because uh, it was obviously stuck on something up there, one of the hinges. So I ended up, I ended up uh, cutting it off. Yeah, that's not bad. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.